Good morning, I'm Jim Walsh with your Town Square Media News Update, brought to you by America's Home Loans. Looking to purchase or refinance? Call America's Home Loans at 222-0100. The Army Corps of Engineers and two Native American tribes that oppose the Dakota Access Pipeline want a federal judge to reject an effort by the project's developer to get permission to finish the pipeline. Energy Transfer Partners asked Judge James Bosberg in November to declare it has a legal right to lay pipe under that Missouri River Reservoir. The company believes it has the necessary federal permission to drill under Lake Oahe, but the Corps and the Standing Rock and Shy and River Sioux tribes disagree. A bipartisan proposal would let North Dakota voters decide once again whether to eliminate the state treasurer's office. The proposal would close the office and split its duties among other agencies. The state treasurer manages cash for North Dakota agencies and distributes some tax collections to local governments. Authorities say a North Dakota hunter who was reported missing has been found safe at home. Stutzman County Sheriff's deputies got a call Monday morning about a hunter who had gone missing Sunday evening, but Sheriff Chad Kaiser says the man made it home safely around 2 o'clock in the afternoon Monday. And living in Bismarck means you'll live longer. If you want to believe the findings of 24-7 Wall Street, the business-oriented website recently released a survey of the city in every state with the shortest life expectancy. You'll be glad to know Bismarck was not at the top of the list. Who was? Would you believe Grand Forks? Although at 78, it's really not that bad. Sunny and two above today, light snow and six below tonight, cloudy and four below tomorrow. And that's your Town Square Media News Update.